Nanjing. The city I've been wrapped around for over 600 years. A city that continually changes. I am Ming Jinghong. I am Ming Wu. A tool of war to defend and attack. Raised up from the dirt by a Ming emperor. Hong Wu, he liked to call himself. He lies nearby, buried under a hill dotted with statues. Seven million tons of earth follow the land for 35 kilometers. Tongue oil and boiled rice hold my bricks and stones together. 200,000 souls toiled for over 20 years to finish me. In the south I am still strong. At Jungwa Gate all came to enter my walls. Outsiders came to meet their end. They passed through death's doors and courtyards, full of hidden swords and spears, waiting for fresh blood to soak into my roots. Nothing could breach Jung Wall Gate. Many tried, and many died. Jung Wall is just the beginning. From here I go along the Jinghai River and north towards enlightenment. Around the bend is Jaqing Gate, square and squat in modern form, a gate fit for tanks and buses. Not far yonder my back breaks. Gone is a part of me, my bricks bare for all to see. I'm replaced with commerce. I have been usurped with catacombs of homes. The clutter between my stones is an empty shell, a constant reminder of progress's cool edge. In the midst of my nothing is Hangzhong Gate, a former shadow of itself, full of shade and squares for relaxing, smoking, drinking, and playing Wei Xi. Islands of archways for curious souls remain, kept green in a blanket of roots and vines, bidding farewell to the setting sun. Along the west is my underbelly. Stones and bricks wrap around hills of clay, a natural barrier, but I am weak here and easy to see the red side of me, my innards on display. Past walls of green and doors of dwarves sits the Republic entrance, a newer gate not of my making. Then further north is Yifeng Gate, my northern friend looking west by a temple, a dream for 600 years, new to me and younger than most, sits on Lion Hill, praying for clarity, praying for an end to smoke. In the north I am broken again, reduced to a fence for cars at rest. But then there is a paradise of times long past, with wooden doors that still hold fast. Around the bend we go to a lake made by man. Swan Moon Gate watches the lake of the same name. All flock to bathe in sunlight, kiss in moonlight, fish for dreams, while names of my builders carved in bricks watch over. And beyond here, I am old. Grass and weeds keep the sun away. They hold progress at bay, only to be broken again. Quiet comes as I pass by the mountain. To a light snuggled by my base, hidden away from the concrete maze of today. Passing the subway in Xiang Gate, in the east is Zhengkao Gate, where I was only breached in modern times. Luck is not with me then.
An army from the rising sun blew me wide open. An army that came kicking and fighting, fighting wandering from door to door, home to home. To home. Tin foil kept the serpent at bay, tin foil beat them away, ever again to wage war. And after such hell there is rebirth, in darkness there is light, the city heals and I rebuild, but not to defend or to protect. Though many parts are gone, many remain, and some made whole again, made whole for you to see. And here I am no longer a thing of fear, but a thing to revere, a thing to hold. Before I kept the hordes at bay, now I pull them close. Those who come far and wide over mountains, through valleys, across oceans, all come to see and take a selfie of me, Ming Chang Chao. What I am to you and them is never the same, but what I am to me will never change. Mm-hmm.